Steve here with Table Rock Tea Company and I am here today with another book review. I just got this thing today. It was recommended to me uh, by another herbalist so I'm very happy to get it. And this is Sam Thayer's Field Guide to Edible Wild Plants of the Eastern and Central North America. Um, of course, that's where I live, South Carolina. Um, but yeah, very cool book. I'll show you what uh, regions we're talking about. You can see there um, that blue section. And again, before we get into the book review, please, as always, like and subscribe. I will put a link to this book on Amazon. If you use that link, it'll help this channel. So let's get started into it. Uh, first of all, very thick, very heavy book and very well done. Um, like most field guides, it is broken down as a field guide and I'll kind of go through each of the uh, different pages, so to speak, or how it's laid out in just a second. But I wanted to point out this really quickly. It is a guide for edible plants, okay? So it's not a comprehensive field guide. It is a guide to plants that are edible. Um, for somebody like me, that's really great. You know, uh, we live in the Southern Appalachians, which of course is uh, the first or second most biodiverse um, part of the, the country here in the US, uh, the Pacific Northwest being the other one. Uh, but we have a lot of things that are edible. I was never really raised in, in that kind of uh, ilk. I grew up in Philadelphia, so, uh, so I'm learning all this stuff as we go. But this field guide is really great in how it um, breaks things down. So what you're going to notice on this guide, and again, um, pardon the, uh, the camera angles and all that kind of stuff, but uh, on the top is how, how each section is broken down. And it's broken down, um, I guess you could say botanically speaking. So at the beginning of each section, it's going to have this list right here. And it's sort of a, an algorithm, uh, if you will. So that's kind of what I'm used to in medicine. Um, you know, does it have this, then that? Then does it have this, then that? And it kind of keeps breaking down things, narrowing them down until you finally get to what it is. And that what it is part, sort of, um, that's how this book is going to be broken down. So for example, the section I'm on now, broadleaf trees, fruit, small and dry, windborne or a pod okay and that's how that is breaking down the book I move to another section and it'll say um flowering stem leafless basal leaves are compound that's this top part so that's how it breaks it down is bot botanically speaking okay um of course like a standard field guide it'll tell you uh, where these things are found uh, it'll tell you of course the scientific names um, and then which parts are edible. And uh, that's really, of course, the part that we're interested in. So uh, then as you get to the back, one of the really nice things here is it's got a red section and these are uh, plants that are commonly mistaken as edible, that are poisonous. So it's just a red section appropriately colored uh, to tell you which ones uh, might be close to something that you want to stay away from. As far as the indexes go, too, uh, pretty amazing uh, how they have this broken down. As you get to the back of the book, it's going to have these different um, sort of like times that, that these plants are edible or most edible, most useful. Uh, the season, you know, time of year that these uh, would, would be showing up. Because obviously, you know, if uh, something's like a flower and it's not flowering that's not going to help you out much so so that'll tell you all about that and of course then um, an alphabetical index as well um, pretty extensive indexing but again just kind of flip through here um, each one of those sections has you know how you break it down and then it's sort of subbed out plant by plant with really good pictures good illustrations it also gives the habitat range here as well um, so even though, you know, we're saying that it's central and southeast um, U.S., uh, not everything has the same range. So, yeah, really good book. I haven't delved into it too much, but uh, the little that I've looked at, it, I can tell you that it's definitely worth the price. Um, so, again, that is Sam Thayer's Field Guide 
to edible wild plants of Eastern and Central North America. And I would say that is on the recommend list. So feel free to pick that up. Again, there will be a link in the description on this video. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned to see what else is brewing here at Table Rock Tea Company.